वेलकम टू दि कोर्स ऑफ इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग नोड एम सी यू एंड थिंग स्पीक आई ओ टी प्लेटफॉर्म एंड एज अ स्टार्टिंग लेक्चर वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट इज आई ओ टी दट इज इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट let's start off with the definition of the internet of things and there are many definitions for this iot that is internet of things in the world and you may take anything but the common thing that the internet of things mean is it is just a internetwork of physical objects embedded with sensors to acquire data computer to make intelligent decisions connectivity that enables these things to transform it into knowledge and actuators to generate physical actions to manipulate the environment let's understand this statement line by line now you can see i just want to explain you what is this term called internet work so here on the screen you can see there are two different networks network a and network b and network a is having several components connected to it you can see there is a car fridge watch laptop cctv all are connected to a common network and similar to a we are just having another network called b to which also several devices has been connected if these two network devices are able to communicate with each other that is the watch over here in the network a is capable of sending and transmitting the data to the computer over here in the network b then these two networks clubbed together is termed as internet work so this is what internet work means so iot is nothing but internet work of physical objects these objects are nothing but things so whatever may be the things these things will be having some sensors to acquire data because sensors are most widely useful for acquiring data and then converting that acquired physical quantity into electrical terms right and then it will be having some computers it is useful for making decisions based on the quantity received by the sensors so for that purpose for making the decisions from the received sensor data there will be computers embedded with this iot network and then we will be having connectivity to the cloud in terms of the word iot i means internet so definitely we just want a connectivity to the cloud for transferring the data right so for that purpose we will be having a connectivity that enables these things to transmit it into knowledge so wherever may be the sensors and computers if i am available here in some place and the sensors and computers will be located in a remote place so for my knowledge the sensors and computer must transmit the data to the cloud so that i can view that from my computer over here in my home so for that purpose we just need a connectivity to the iot device and finally we just want actuators to generate physical actions to manipulate the environment that is nothing but we just want to do some actions right if my machine is located in a remote location and i am available in my home and if i want to change some parameters that can be done only with the help of actuator right whether it is a motor or linear actuator or any other coil i just want to change that with the help of actuator right so i just want some actuators in my system for changing the effect on my machine so for example if the temperature in my machine is exceeding i just want to turn on the cooler manually if the system is not functioning then i must be having the control over the cooler for turning on it with the help of the cloud system right so from my home i must be able to turn on the cooler as well as the heater in my machine for example so these are called actuators whether it is a motor cooler heater coil and these things are called as actuators so this is the simplest definition of iot internet of things and now let's take an example for understanding this iot concept clearly and the example that i'm going to take is washing machine 
So normally this washing machine is useful for washing our clothes, right? So what it does is that if you put the clothes onto the washing machine and then if you press on the button after adding the soap powder and after supplying the required amount of water connection to the washing machine, it will be rinsing, spinning and then it will be drying the clothes. So these three are the basic operations that is done in the washing machine, right? If the power is available, it will be doing all these things and once done, it will be intimating you or you can directly pick the clothes out and then you can do the further process. So this is the normal washing machine and normal washing process in the washing machine, right? And now if you assume that this washing machine is having a IoT capability, then what are all the features it may have is that it will be having basically as i said it will be having sensors attached to it so normally this washing machine is having the iot capability so all the devices that is having the iot capability is usually connected to the internet or to any cloud platform so assume that we this machine is connected to a cloud platform and it is having the internet access so it is having all the access to call anyone all the access to notify anyone with the help of this internet access and as i said a iot system it will be having a sensors to sense the data right so sensors to acquire the data so this washing machine will be having a sensor to monitor the amount of washing powder in this machine and if the washing powder amount is reduced to certain level it will be automatically intimating the nearby supermarket that the washing powder has been exhausted so that the supermarket person will be coming to our home for filling the washing powder or for giving the washing powder required to us and then it will be having a sensor to monitor all the spare parts of the washing machine itself and if it find some of the spares has been under faulty condition then it will automatically intimate or send a notification to the maintenance department of the same brand washing machine and the maintenance person will be arriving in our home for changing the required spares on the washing machine and these sensors that i mentioned which is useful for monitoring the spare parts of the washing machine is also useful for maintenance purpose it will be intimating to the maintenance department that the maintenance time has arrived and it is time to reburnish all the sensors and actuators in this washing machine and we will be having several sensors to monitor whether the washing is happening or finished and once done it will be intimating the user that is ourself that the washing has been completed through our mobile phone using the cloud platform and if there is any mistake done by the user that is if the water supply is not sufficiently provided for the machine that will be also sensed using these sensors and it will be intimated to the user via mobile phone signal so these signals will be intimated to the user via mobile phones and these maintenance department and supermarket will be getting a kind of a message or a notification through the cloud platform to which the washing machine is connected so this is a complete iot washing machine which is capable of doing all the job by itself your job is just to put on the clothes and press on the button that is available on the washing machine so in the all the process that i mentioned you can see that there is no human intervention required so no human activity is involved but the machine itself is capable of sensing the data and converting that sensed data into intelligent decisions and it has activators for generating and manipulating the required process and i hope you got to know some of the information like what is iot what is the definition of iot and how it is functioning in this video and from the next video we are just going to implement this iot with the help of iot module node mcu by programming it and then we will be using the most popular cloud platform that is thinkspeak iot cloud platform by implementing and sending the commands from our node mcu to that iot platform See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.